What's up you guys? So I'm here with a new video today. I'm here to bring you guys another discussion video and I'm bringing you this video today because I saw a video that Robbie posted about people already quitting Yu-Gi-Oh because of Zodiacs before they're even out and being one of the channels that I feel inspires players to play because of my just like utmost just love for this game. Like I love this game. This is my main hobby. I just love it to death. Through thick and thin, I'll always play. And that's what I'm going to try to convey today in this video. Apparently, people are already quitting Yu-Gi-Oh! They don't want to play in this format. They don't want to deal with these little guys. And we've seen this happen many times before. Dragon Ruler format, Necroz format, and now Zodiac format. The reason why I bring up Necroz and Dragon Rulers is because it's going to be another format like that while everybody is playing. Uh, the majority of the room will be playing one type of deck, aka Zodiacs, and other people will be trying to counter those decks with decks like Wind Witches and Infernoid and other decks that DDDs, other decks that um, you know are out still in the meta are just getting power creeped by Zodiacs. Now, these are going to be my reasons why I would not quit. Number one, you cannot literally be defeated that easily by new cards coming out and i say that because if you automatically just just like give in and just say you know what these cards are too powerful i don't want to play anymore then you really need to question why you're ever playing Yu Gi Oh to begin with now i know a lot of people feel that zodiac are going to be like tier zero and that they're going to you know completely just dominate the game and it's not going to be fun to play we've played in formats like that you guys we can go all the way back to teledad when teledad was the only deck people were playing the only decks that topped were teledad chaos return even before that when you were packing the chaos sorcerers and the return from the different dimension uh when it was at three at full power um we've played through those formats we have played through the rabbit in zector wind up format where there was only three decks and a rogue deck would maybe come up every once in a while we also have played in like i said dragon ruler spellbook format the rogue deck being evil swarm necroz as well there was shadals or the telenites but necroz just proved dominance but look what happened burning abyss came up from nowhere and you know smacked them up at nationals and ended up winning so you see there's never a reason to give in no matter how powerful the deck is another reason that i would not quit this game is because you are not being forced to play zodiac you are not being forced to pick up these cards and you are not being forced to play them in your deck if you don't want to play them you don't have to i haven't even decided what deck i'm going to play if anyone's been seeing my posts on facebook i'm actually a big fan of lawn mowing infernoids now i know you can play zodiacs in them but in all honesty I would probably want to try playing pure first just to get the feel of it. Infernoids is a deck I've always liked and it's just a deck that I am considering to still play. Now, because of that, I'm not quitting. I have no intentions of quitting. Now, am I going to pick up Zodiac stuff? Most likely. Is it a good investment? Hard to tell. If you watched uh, Glasgow's video, he talks about if it's a good investment or not. I feel like, you know, he made some really just solid points because, you know, you can invest in it because it's going to be good. There's no deny in denying it. This deck is going to be really good. Is it going to be just so powerful that nothing else can compete with it? I wouldn't say that. I feel the deck is very strong. I've watched people play it. People have been starting to play test it at my regional, at my uh, locals with you know proxy cards and whatnot. And I've seen what it can do, and it's very impressive. But it's not without its faults. Every deck has a flaw. Every deck can lose you know to itself. And I feel that that's another reason why you should not quit this game because you're not always going to lose to this deck. You might be able to find the counter strategy. People say Wind Witches is built to defeat Zodiac. If you're not a fan of Zodiac, run Wind Witches. If you don't want to play either that or Zodiac play infernoid if you don't want to play that play your old deck and just keep revamping it for the new format the perfect example i can give you is last weekend in columbus ohio at the regionals nick giles 17 place with grave keepers now if you looked at his deck he completely changed it so that it could keep up with this format by maining fossil dinas and moon mirror shields if you are a dedicated player to one type of deck, say you're a player that plays Blue Eyes, say you don't want Blue Eyes to die, I think Blue Eyes is still relevant, has a great Metal Foes matchup, can put a lot of damage on the board, obviously opening Soul Charges the nuts. If you keep wanting to play Blue Eyes, keep playing Blue Eyes and just innovate it. Like if you need to play veil more Veilers to hit the Molmorat or you need to do other things to stop it, you can do that. If you also read Molmorat, you guys, it's not an on summon effect. They, It's a you can effect. So you're able to respond before the opponent activates the effect. Cards like Book of Eclipse, Book of Moon, those cards are going to be really good. Um, you do have options. Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit is also going to be a staple in most of these decks. So I feel that if you actually prepare for this format properly and you look at all all your options you're able to play a card that has actually started to see main deck play actual main deck play in ocg is flying c another great option if you're not 
um, if you're not really sure what you're going to uh, to play. Those are cards that counter it. If you see it, people are posting these videos about what to side to stop this deck. So the deck is not unbeatable. You just have to, you know, prepare yourself for what's to happen and, you know, just basically you know, decide what deck you're going to play, how you're going to change it, and how it's going to impact the, uh, you know, impact your, you know, results against the deck. You just have to adjust accordingly. And that's honestly the best advice I can give. I hope people do not quit this game. I love this game. I try to encourage you guys to love this game because through thick and thin, we still have our game and that's what matters. We're going to have good formats. We're going to have bad formats, but you can always choose to play something else. If you're an anti-meta player, vamp up anti-meta. I mean, barrier statues were everywhere at Columbus, Ohio. And I know for a fact, you know, you slap a barrier statue down, you know, I don't know which one is actually going to be good since all these zodiacs are earth. So obviously the earth statue is going to go down, possibly the wind statue or the water statue if you don't want to play, you know, if you hopefully don't run into mermail you do have a chance of locking them out completely of the game. So that is my advice to you guys. Please don't give up on Yu-Gi-Oh. Please don't quit this game because you feel this deck can be too powered. If you still choose to quit after seeing this video, that's fine. I can't stop you. But I just hope that you listen to what I had to say here today and that you uh, that you really think about continuing to play because the game, you know, it's going to have its ups and downs, but we're eventually going to get to a point where everyone can play. And for the most part, the majority of the community is happy. We can't satisfy everyone, but we can do our best. So yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the discussion. If you did, leave a like below. If you feel like you're about to quit, let me know why in the comments below. If you feel you're not going to quit and how you're going to combat zodiacs or if you're going to join the zodiac clan let me you know let me know again in the in the comments let me know what you guys are going to do this format because i'm excited i'm excited for a new format and i'm excited for a big change in the game because i feel whenever we get a big change like we did with pendulums it shakes things up and it makes the game more interesting and we couldn't ask for more than that after almost 15 years of being out here uh, in the state so yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video i'll see you guys next time